Hey, what's going on? Uh, today, we're taking a look at some of the cool new features of the Volker New Bass, which is an acid style bass machine from Korg, uh, released earlier this year. So the first thing we're gonna do is I wanna create a, um, a pattern sequence. Uh, I'm just gonna create something completely randomly. So I press record and play, and just enter in some steps. All right, it's pretty, that's pretty random. So the first thing we want to have a look at is this transpose accent and slide functions. Uh, these add a really uh, new and interesting layer of movement um, to your sequences. The great thing about these is these can be randomized at any time just by holding the function button. One of the features on the new bass is this vacuum tube oscillator, uh, which is this guy here. Uh, and you can see it illuminate as we increase the level of the sub oscillator and in the saturation. This introduces some really interesting harmonics to our sound. Now let's introduce the um, LFO. The LFO can modulate the uh, amplitude, pitch, or the cutoff. Now let's assign it to the cutoff. Holding the function button uh, increases or decreases the LFO rate, uh, and same with the en envelope intensity can change the uh, LFO intensity. Cool. At the end here, we have um, a drive and tone. Uh, this is kind of as if sounds as if we we're running our Volker through an overdrive pedal or a stomp box of some kind. Adding some nice harmonics um, to our oscillator. All right, so I'm going to randomize my sequence uh, using the active step function, holding function. All right, and now let's um, introduce some motion sequencing. Motion sequencing is a function found on all Volker, allows you to record parameter movements throughout your sequence. Uh, 